Today is Tuesday, May 12th, and like a lot of people, I am weary of this pandemic. So, today I want to talk about the greatest verse of comfort found in the Bible. And I know there are a lot of verses about comfort in the Bible, but for me at least, there's one that stands out above the rest. In Matthew 11, 28-30, Jesus said, Come to me, you who are weary and heavy burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am humble and gentle of heart, and I will give you rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. <laughs> Can there be a better offer of rest than that? It is mind-boggling in its simplicity. Jesus didn't give us a fourfold path to rest. He didn't give us seven easy steps to achieving rest for your soul. He didn't follow the guru or the self-help book. He offered himself. His command to us was, come to me. Take my yoke. Learn from me. I will give you rest. So, how do we come to Jesus to receive this rest? Well, the context of the passage makes it clear. Jesus had just finished condemning the unrepentant cities of Israel. These were the people who had seen his miraculous work. They had seen the power of God in him, and they still did not believe. In contrast to this, Jesus said, If you are weary, if you are struggling, if you are heavy burdened, come to me and I will give you rest. We come to Jesus through faith. We come to Jesus by believing that he is who he says he is, and that he can do what he says he can do. It's just faith. Every other version of rest for our souls that I have seen in my entire life has been built on us creating our own rest. We have to gain the right understanding or wisdom to achieve rest. We have to build the right circumstances so that we can have rest. And every other version of rest for our souls that I've seen in my entire life has failed. Because they are all built on us creating our own rest. Even if we could build rest for our souls, I don't think we can, but even if we could, it wouldn't last. Because we'd have to Keep on building that rest, which is counterproductive to rest. What Jesus offers us is faith. He offers to give us his rest. He offers to give us himself. Jesus is the answer to every struggle, to every burden, to every weary soul in this world. He tells us to take his yoke upon him. Jesus basically offers us a trade. At the cross, Jesus took our yoke of sin and guilt and shame and fear and failure and condemnation. He, he took all that on himself and he gives us his yoke of faith. That's it. There's no trick. There's no secret. Just faith. That when we put our trust in him, he gives us rest. We don't spend a lifetime of self-discipline to achieve rest for our souls. Jesus does all the work for us. And common sense should tell us that's the only way to ever have rest for our souls. Because if I have to keep building my own rest, it's not going to last. Oh, I might be able to build rest for myself for a week or two, but I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about a week off. I'm talking about rest for our souls. Lifelong rest. Eternity long rest. And that kind of rest, rest for our souls, either comes as a gift from someone else who has done all the hard work, or it doesn't come at all. But praise be to God, this is the gift that Jesus offers us. He offers us rest for our souls. 
May God be with you, and I'll see you tomorrow.